Once again, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, taking this opportunity, I would like to kindly invite Honorable Dr. Sok An, Deputy Prime Minister, Minister in Charge of the Office of the Council of Ministers, and Vice Chairman of the ICAP Standing Committee for a welcome remark. Excellency, please. Excellency Chung I Chung, ICAP Secretary General and Co-Chairman of the Standing Committee. Excellency Madam Malahat Ibrahim Gizi, and Excellency Dr. Pak In Suk, Co-Chairperson of the ICAP Women Wing. Excellency Member of the Standing Committee of ICAP, Excellency Head of commit delegation. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good morning. My warmest welcome extended to all international participants to the Kingdom of Cambodia, Kingdom of Culture and the Kingdom of Wonder. It is uh, my great pleasure and honor to heartily welcome Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as well as all distinguished international participants and friends to the opening of the second workshop of the International Conference of Asian Political Party, ICAP, on human trafficking, a team that has constantly attracted international attention. We are greatly privileged to host this important workshop, which brings together leaders of both ruling and opposition political party in the Asian Pacific, experts and other stakeholders, providing a good opportunity for all participants to learn together, to exchange you, and to share ideas, knowledge, and practical experiences in order to prevent and combat the common global issue of human trafficking. This event is the evidence signifying the spirit of solidarity and close cooperation and collaboration among all ICAP members and ICAP affiliated institutions. Cambodia is deeply saddened by the recent news about the eruption of a powerful earthquake which so far has claimed thousands of lives, inflicted thousands of serious injuries many uncounted for million affected and caused devastating damage in Nepal, an attraction area of India, Bangladesh, and China. On behalf of the royal government and the peoples of Cambodia, I would like to extend my deepest condolences and heartfelt sympathy to the government and the people of Nepal on the loss of many lives and the damage caused to private properties and public buildings. Excellencies, colleagues and friends, please join me to observe, I think I'm already done, a minute of silence. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, Human trafficking is a heinous crime against humanity and grave violation of human rights. It is the illegal trade of human beings for multiple purposes, such as commercial sexual exploitation, forced labor, or 
the modern day form of slavery, which is uh, unacceptable in any sense. Women and children are the most vulnerable and routinely trafficked and sold like a commodity, often sold many times in the multi-million dollar fastest growing criminal industry. It is estimated that more than 20 million victims suffer from forced labor and human trafficking worldwide. Human trafficking is a common global issue which undoubtedly requires international coordination, close cooperation, as well as a concerted and determined effort and approaches to crush it and to stamp it out. Undeniably, our region Asia is a source, a transit, a destination area in commission of trafficking. Millions of children, women and men are victims of human trafficking or modern day form of slavery. They are often trafficked within their home countries and intra-regionally transported across border and treated as commodity to be bought, to be sold, and to be resolved for sexual exploitation, forced labor, domestic servitude, or false marriages. To prevent and combat this illicit criminal activity, the royal government of Cambodia, under the wide leadership of some like the Kyatma Senapade de Cho Hun Sain, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, has been constantly determined to fight against this heinous crime in close collaboration with immediate neighbor and all countries in the region and the world, as well as with other stakeholders. Cambodia has adopted a number of law and anti-trafficking measure and instrument to address these inhuman illegal activity with particular emphasis on the three main dimensions of anti-trafficking policy. Prosecution, protection, and prevention. The legal measure and instrument include number one, the law on suppression of kidnapping, trafficking, and exploitation of human in 1996. Law on suppression of human trafficking and sexual exploitation in 2008. Number two, 2003 Memorandum of Understanding between Cambodia and Thailand on bilateral cooperation in eliminating trafficking in children and women and assisting victims of trafficking. Number three, 2004, coordinated Mekong Ministerial Initiative Against Trafficking, widely known as COMMIT. But now we are holding the back-to-back -back meeting. Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation Against Trafficking in Person in the Greater Mekong Subregion. Number four, in 2005, agreement between the Royal Government of Cambodia and the Socialist Republic of Vietnam on bilateral cooperation for eliminating trafficking in women and children and assisting victims of trafficking. Number five, in 2007, agreement on guidelines for practices and cooperation between the relevant government institution 
and victim support agency in cases of human trafficking. Number six, in 2009, national policy on the protection of the right of the victim of human trafficking and other policies and agreement on the suppression of all forms of human trafficking. In addition, the royal government has provided services and immediate support to the traffic victim to enhance the effectiveness of its support, the Department of Anti-Human Trafficking and the reintegration of victims was established in 2010 to offer necessary assistance to the victim. Determined effort <coughs> have been made <coughs> by the royal government to arrest and punish the perpetrator. To this end, some policies and law have been prepared, adopted, and put in place, such as the Penal Code, Standard Operating Procedure, SOP, for police and national plan of action against human trafficking. As a result, more than a thousand cases were prosecuted and more than 1,000 victims were repatriated through cross-border coordination mechanism. Consequently, the number of trafficked victims, especially for sexual exploitation, has decreased. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends, the workshop is indeed timely and relevant for all of us and for our region and beyond. The discussion over the next two days will contribute to the ongoing determined effort to review and update anti-trafficking policy and instrument for effectively addressing this global issue of human trafficking. Through active interaction between all participants, I strongly hope that the workshop will produce fruitful outcome and that you will bring home new ideas which will be served as important input for policy formulation to further enhance the effectiveness of suppression of all forms of human trafficking. Once again, I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere appreciation and thanks to all of you for your active participation, especially to ICAP Secretariat and member of the organizing committee for their hard work and fruitful collaboration to make this two-day workshop possible. Finally, I wish Excellencies, ladies, gentlemen, and dear friends, as well as well international participants and friends, good health, every success, happiness, and enjoyable stay and fruitful cultural experience for those who plan to further explore Cambodia. I wish the workshop every success. I now declare open the ICAP workshop on human trafficking. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Honorable and distinguished participant, I would like to take this opportunity to express a sincere appreciation to all honorables and distinguished guests for your time and participation in today's ceremony. Once again, please rise for the departure of the guests of honor. Thank you.